Hello guys, welcome to the next session of implementing CRUD operations using Angular version 16. In the last session, we discussed on how we can implement get request or select operation into the Angular project. So in the last session, we implemented this table and we are now showing all the data that we have currently into the database into this table. In this session, we are going to work on the next operation, which is a delete operation. So we are going to like add one delete button at the end of every single row. And whenever we will click on this delete button, the record will get deleted from the database and it will instantly reflect onto the table itself. Now, if you just refresh it, um, the data is deleted from the database itself. So this is the operation that we are going to perform in this session. So let's see how we can work on this. Session. So now in order to delete a record, what we want is we want one delete button at the end of every single row so that whenever we will click on this button, we should be able to delete a record. So in order to do this, first of all, what we want is we want to add one new column inside our uh, Angular material table so that inside that new column, we can show the new button that we are just going to implement. So for this, what we can just do, we can just go back to the VS code and then over here, we can just go to the employee list dot component dot HTML. But before that, we can just go to the employee list dot component dot TS and over here, we have to add one new column so in my case it will be a delete something like this now we have to go to the html file and then we have to come to the end and then we have to like copy this ng container and we have to paste it mat column definition will be the delete that we have just given over here so let me just copy it and let me just paste it something like this if you just want you can just give the text i mean the column header as delete and then um, on this like we don't have to give as of now anything inside this and now let me just save these changes let's see how it is looking like so yes it is looking perfectly fine i don't want this delete text to be shown so we can just remove this delete text something like this and yes it will look something similar the next thing that we want is we want to implement one button over here so for button what i'm going to do i'm just going to use a button uh, maybe let me just click on this so first of all maybe we can just check the list so maybe uh, we can use this icon button so it will look something like this so we can just use this icon button so let me just try to check a code for this icon button so this is how we have to write a code for the icon button so let me just copy a single button code let me just copy it and let me just come back to the vs code and let me just paste it inside our td something like this and let me just save these changes let's see how it looks like first so it will look something like this the only one thing that we have to do we have to change this icon so in order to change the icon we can just go to the uh, like google fonts over here we can just select the icon let me search for a delete so for a delete we have this icon so we can just go to maybe Android. We can just copy the name itself. No matter like all the names are same. So we can just copy it from any section. And then let me just paste it something like this. And now it is looking perfectly fine. The next thing that we want is we want one click event on this button. But before that, let me just show you the API that we have. So we have already created the API, which is um, like uh, having the delete mapping and having the name as slash delete slash employee and then at the end we have to pass the employee id that we just want to delete so this is the api that we have already implemented so we are going to use the same api itself so for this what we have to do we have to come back and first of all let me just format this document yes now first of all what we want is uh, like on this button we want one click event so that it will uh, like we, we, we can just uh, like take that click event and we can just delete a record. So let me just add one click event on this button. So as it is event, we have to give these brackets and we can give the name like delete employee. So for this delete employee, what we want is we want employee ID to be passed because we want like on which um, row it is clicked. That is the reason we need employee ID. So we can get this employee ID from this element dot employee ID. We can copy this element dot employee ID and then we can just paste it as a parameter, something like this. And this function is not yet created. Uh, you might get some error. 
yes so this function is not yet created so we have to create this function so we can just copy the name and we can just come to the employee list dot component dot ts file and then we can just create this function something like this and then as of now it will like return a void and then it will just take one parameter which is nothing but employee id which will be of type number something like this and then uh, what we can just do first of all we can just try to use console dot log and we can just first of all try to like uh, print this employee id that we have just received now let me just save these changes let me just come back to the chrome let me just open the console first so that we can just print something on the console now over here if i just click on this button so we are getting this employee id in my case it is 252 let me just click on this 254 so yes now we are getting the expected employee id and this employee id we have to pass it to the um, the api that we have we are going to use now the next thing that we have to do is we have to like uh, use this api in our angular application so in order to do this what we can just do we can just go back to the vs code we can just first of all open the employee service with in my case it is the file name is employee.service.ts then over here what we can just do we can just create one new function which is public uh, then let me just give the name as delete employee it will take one parameter which is employee id and it will return nothing as of now uh, maybe we can just keep it as it is and then let me just give the curly brackets and then uh, for employee id we can give the type as number and then what we have to do we have to just use return this dot http client dot delete and then we have to like give our api so in my case the api is like we have to give a back ticks then dollar we are going to use interpolation basically so we have to use a this dot api then we have to give slash and then let me just copy the api in my case it is slash delete slash employee and then uh, we have to pass this employee id so let me just remove this employee id and make sure you are just keeping the slash as it is and then we can just interpolate this employee id over here let me just give dollar curly bracket and employee id something like this and now let me just save this service file the next thing that we can do like we have already injected the employee service inside our uh, employee list component so we can directly use this employee service so what we have to do we have to just use this dot employee service dot delete employee and then we have to just pass employee id and then we have to use subscribe method now this subscribe basically if you uh, must be using if if you have already used the angular versions before angular 15 then the syntax for subscribe was quite different but after like 15 onwards we have like some different syntax so we have to give this curly bracket and then we have to just give a next which is a callback for a success response so over here we have to like use res and let me give it as a console.log res something like this and if at all we get any error then we need one error callback so we have to give error colon and then we have to give uh, like any name and which will be of type http error response something like this and let me just give console.log err something like this and once it is deleted successfully then what we have to do like we need to defray uh, we need like we need to refresh this uh, data but before that uh, we can just test it as it is so what we can just do we can just first of all open the console and then let me just click on this 253 and over here as of now what we got we got uh, one issue so we got it like uh, the issue is due to like uh, course policy the reason is uh, we have like by mistakenly we have given one extra slash inside the api name so what we have to do we have to come back to the employee service and if you just see we have given this 
two slash over here so we have to remove it and we have to give only one slash and now let's see how it looks like let me just click on this delete now we got the null response the reason is our delete api doesn't return anything it returns void so that is the reason we got the null response but as of now if i just refresh this then you should be able to get like uh, get it like our one employee is deleted successfully so we have to refresh it every single time but what i want whenever i will click on this delete and if delete operation comes successful then instantly i just want to reflect it to the uh, ui so that is the reason what we have to do we have to just go to the employee list component ts file and then we have to just use this dot get employee list method again so this dot this dot get employee list method basically what it does it basically like calls our uh, get employee api and then whatever response it will get it will like directly bind it again to the data source so in that way it will like refresh the data source and that is the reason we will get the um, like uh, expected data so for example this 303 if i just click on the delete so instantly it will reflect on the screen something like this and now we are uh, getting the expected output so this is how we can work on delete operation using angular 16 if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and i will try my best to help you out in that case i hope you enjoyed this session i'll see you in the next session